You know, today, I want to speak to you about this thing called living in Revelation. But there is an antichrist spirit, if you will, a spirit of religion. How many know that there has to be a, a pro in order for there to be an anti? There is this spirit of religion, this antichrist that wants to keep you from having a revelation of who you are in Christ, that wants to keep you from knowing the inheritance that you have already been given and have already received in Christ Jesus. And he wants to keep you from having a revelation of your God because you are created in the image and the likeness of who he is. In Daniel 7.25, it speaks about this antichrist spirit of religion, if you will, where it says that he will speak pompous words against the Most High and he shall persecute the saints of the Most High, and he shall intend to change the times and law. He wants to speak pompous words against the Most High. What's he trying to do? He wants to shrink our perception of God. He wants to shrink our understanding of who our God is. As a matter of fact, today, you can go a lot of different places, and you're not allowed to speak about the name of Jesus. You can't speak about his name in the workplace. You can't speak about him with friends and family. That there's this spirit of antichrist that doesn't want us to speak about the name that is above all names. He wants to diminish our concept of God. So literally, people begin to say, well, we can speak about Buddha, we can speak about um, Allah, we can speak about any other God or any other name as long as we don't speak about the name of Jesus Christ. The reality is, this spirit of religion, this antichrist spirit is afraid that the name of Jesus Christ will be spoken because if his name is spoken, being the name above all names, the atmospheres will change, that, that people will begin to get set free, and that God will be released from this box, if you will. And so he tries to diminish our concept of God, where maybe we go to church on Sunday, or we have a major breakthrough in our relationship with God personally in our prayer time, we get a revelation, we receive a healing, or we have a breakthrough in terms of our finances, and then we go and we try to testify or to share that out in the world where this antichrist spirit, spirit of religion tries to oppose us. And he diminishes our concept of God by beginning to say, I don't want to hear about that. I don't believe all of that kind of stuff. And we begin to shrink back. And we begin to allow this antichrist spirit, spirit of religion, to begin to build up other names over the name of Jesus. For more information, log on to RevivalCry.com.